All right, I think we're live here. Harry Havlin on the mic with you. This is the Athlete Tracker 2012 team. We're playing in the Mile High Meltdown live at South Suburban Sports Complex here in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. I had just got the roster here now. I'm going to list it off for you guys. I'm going to learn alongside you as these numbers are all fresh. These players are all fresh. They haven't even had a practice yet to go. So first time on the ice together, number one, Bryce Armstrong. Number six, Chad Sullivan. Number seven, Aiden Mack. Number eight, James Yakomizo. Number nine, Sebastian Ekstrom. Number 10, Connor Burke. Number 11, Cohen Hernandez. Number 18, Brent Bayless. Number 22, Kingston Lorch. Number 22, or 24, sorry, John Dionato. D. D. Donato. Number 33, Mason Miller. Number 37, Mike Sullivan. 39, Charlie Stewart. 43, Kai Haviland. 44, Simon Prokop. 52, oh, I should have got this earlier. Ate Naras. I'm sorry, I might be butchering all these names. I'm trying my best just getting here. Number 53, Aaron Frederick. 55, Carson Beaumont. And number 56, Owen Small. I haven't seen everybody out on the ice. I'm trying to see here the numbers. We're way down in the corner right now. 15 minutes on the clock. Warm-ups are over. Going to get start to set this set to get started in this first period. Take it on Mountain Select, first game of this tournament. We got another couple coming up on Friday. Two more on Saturday. And then we'll see what happens going into Saturday evening. Tomorrow's Friday, Saturday, Sunday finals. We got all kinds of hockey potential. With seven games going on for your athlete tracker squad this weekend. Looking forward to a lot of fun, some new friends, some new families. We're going to have a blast this weekend. Once again, I'm Harry Havlin. You may know me from the OTT Sports Network, bouncing around. I've been part of our VAT assigned a contract down at the Arapahoe Warriors last year with some PWA hockey. Or you may just know me from the guy begging for donuts behind the Tim Hortons as they're throwing them out in 1994 back in Castlegar, British Columbia. But here I am right now, South Suburban Sports Complex. We're ready to go underway. Players up against the benches there, listening to their coaches, getting those last-minute instructions, and we're going to have some fun. This roster keeps disappearing on me. I'm going to have to keep clicking on my phone. Any uh, complaints could be sent to I am not going to answer this email at gmail.com. Any good comments could go to Harry Havilland OTT at gmail.com. Always trying to do our best here for you. We're going to have a lot of hockey ahead of us. Hopefully, everybody's going to tune in. There's going to be some parents here in the stands, but all of you across the globe on the OTT Sports Network, thanks for tuning in. I can't see a single number out there, and I am just going to call that the athlete trackers in White Mountain Select wearing their patented burgundy jerseys. As I see numbers, I'll try and call these players out, but the play comes right down into Mountain Select zone to start this one off. Athlete tracker hard on the offense, and then a select get it back out to center ice. The defense pick it up at the red line, skating just inside their blue line, flipping that one up, getting back on side as your select team, or the tracker team, sorry. That was number 30, Sullivan, putting it in. Ripping it around the boards just past Ekstrom. Out to the point, flip back into Ekstrom here in the corner. Gets bodied up against the boards. Trying to flip this one out is the select team. They go side by side across the center ice. Picked up right there by the tracker as they walk back across the blue line. Coming in, ripping a shot high. Just goes wide off the back boards. Picked up at the blue line and kept in. Dumped in for the offense to come in and chase this puck down into the corner. That's number seven, Aiden Mack going after it for your tracker squad. He's pressured up against the boards by a bunch of select players. Stepping off the bench and a penalty is going to be called here. There's going to be a trip against Mountain Select, and your tracker's going to go on the power play. 14.01 left to go here. First period action at South Suburban in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. At least I, that was, no, it's got five on five. Oh, no, it was on the tracker team. I thought the tracker player went skipping across the blue line there. I'm rusty. I apologize here. It's been a month since I've been on the mic, and I just don't pay attention to hockey. Penalty kill here for the athlete tracker squad as they're deep in their own end after this face-off draw. 
Out to center ice and walk through center. Coming across shorthanded here, the tracker gain the offensive zone. Number 53, Aaron Fredericks, the one that's still carrying this puck, taking it to the high slot. Takes a shot in. That one just goes wide of the post. It's picked up by the select squad. They put it up off the boards, breaking out of their own zone, being pressured there by Beaumont, taking it away at center ice. Back over to Frederick. Frederick at Beaumont gain in the offensive zone, flipping one in. Another one goes wide of the net. I've heard that there's a rumor if you put it on net, you got a better chance of scoring, but what do I know? Hernandez off the bench, flipping that one back over to Ekstrom. Trying to center it back. Hernandez just ahead of the play. Back in. Hernandez behind the net. The flow just coming out the back of his helmet there. The wind blowing it like a romance novel front page character. Still controlling here with the penalty kill. 54 seconds left to kill off of this one. Hernandez walks his way into the offensive end. Center back out to the point, top of the circle. Shot gets deflected. That one goes up into the mess. 12.45 left to go. 43 seconds left to kill off this penalty. And your tracker team has been putting all the pressure in here shorthanded. Hernandez leaning in to take this draw. Lork, Lort, I'm sorry. Everybody yell at me. Please find me and tell me how to pronounce your last names. <laughs> Lorchi? There. That's all I need to do is ask. Lorchi out there with Hernandez, and Hernandez comes up with a puck. He's skating his way through center ice. Got one guy to beat, another one on the back check. Hernandez whips on that shot, gets it tipped away into the corner. Dumps that one in deep. He rips off for the chains, and Lorchi's going to pick this one up. Stripped to the way by Select. They come out five on three the other way with 15 seconds left in their power play, and they're looking for their first opportunity with the man advantage. Shot comes in. Save is made. Going down against the boards. A couple players. That's a long way down to see from here. I can't tell who's playing, but that shot by Mountain Select goes high. Haviland's against the boards with it. Puts it up. Trying to get this one out, having Clank clear the zone. Tip against the corner, Lorchie's still out there. They're fighting in deep, Haviland has it. He's going to slow it down back into his own end for some reason. Puts it in front of the net, over to the far side. Apparently the coaches haven't had enough time to tell these players that they have to go the opposite direction to score goals and take advantage of the situation but now here the trackers still can't get it out mountain select push get back into the corner hard up against the boards and that's extra with it can't clear the zone to flip back in good save there kicked into the corner select all over them and out of the zone mountain select with some time as the athlete tracker players all change up they got some fresh legs out there Sullivan takes a swipe at it there and then select coming across the offensive blue line the other direction. Looking to take a shot off to make a couple passes, get one off. Another couple of big saves there by the goaltender. Bryce? Yep. I'm, I'm Arm, Bryce Armstrong. All right, number one in that Bryce Armstrong. I can't see his back from where I'm standing right now, but I'm getting some help here. And I'll figure this out by the seventh or eighth or ninth or tenth game or however many times we got to be at the rink this weekend. Select flipping it back out to neutral territory, flipping that one ahead and hammered in past the blue line. That one goes wide of the net, but select again. Doesn't get the shot all the way to the net as the defense intercept that one, kicking it up the boards, trying to break it out here. Back out, centering, heading into the corner. Mac picks that one up off the boards. Looking to get out, intercepted at center ice, off the bench with some speed and a shot. Oh, that one trickles across the red line, and we've got our first goal of the game. Sebastian Extra making it one nothing here. Your athlete tracker attack going up in the first period with 439 left to tick off the opening frame. Goalie had that one and then just... Felt it go under his leg, but couldn't turn around in time. 
hopefully the momentum continuing to tick in the right way here as the attack back on there. Back on there. No, they're just on the board. Bear with me. I'll get my bearings and figure this stuff out. Couldn't sneak that one all the way through to Burke. Now the mountain selector inside gets taken away. Here comes Athlete Tracker on a breakaway, working in top of the circle, comes in, takes a shot, just rifles that one wide. As Beaumont was looking to make this a 2-0 game, he's back into the corner with it with the second attempt, trying to go through the player, to picks it up behind the net. Circle and centering pass, nobody there in a white jersey, picked up by the Mountain Select team, and they work their way through center ice. Coming across the red line, gain the blue line, trying to get a shot off here, forced wide into the corner. Centering pass comes across the... I couldn't see the puck. It was loose in front. Obviously, Armstrong got a piece of that one. Through, back to center. Couldn't get a shot off. Out of the zone. Intercepted quickly. To the far side. Back in. They get set up. Burke over on the far boards. Kicked in hard. Hernandez chasing it down. He works his way into the corner right in front of us here. The action in your living rooms. Centering pass, unable to pick that up there it was Frederick. Haviland tips that to Hernandez. Centers back over. Frederick trying to get the shot off. Back over. Haviland tips it into the corner. He's going to chase it down. The first one there is a select player. They put it high up off the glass, but not out. They finally collect, clear in their own end, put it across the red line, and now they've got the offensive opportunities. They work their way into the attack zone. Haviland walks through it, doesn't take the puck away, gets circled around, and Mountain Select gets a shot off in front. Back into the corner. That's Sullivan trying to work his way through. Hernandez in there with him. Back to Sullivan behind the net. Ripped around the boards. That one's coming all the way out. They've got their hand up for icing. Is it going to make it? They wave it off here as the Select team comes back and picks it up at their own end. They circle behind their goaltender, making the outlet pass. Haviland breaking that play up, play up briefly. And a mountain team in. Shoots that one just a couple inches wide of the post. It goes off the backboards. Final minute of play coming up here in the first period. Your attack squad is up 1-0. Dumps that one in on the right side of the red line. Icing is not going to be a factor as the goalie taps up behind his net. Just about lost it there, but then Select puts it back outside the blue line, resetting in the... Neutral zone, making the pass up. The attack come in. Flipping a shot in. Easily handled there by Hamilton, the goalie for Mountain Select. Up off the boards. Coming through. That's my phone froze on me, and I can't tell you what number. That would have been Aiden Mack, number seven. Breaking that play up. Picked up, backhanded across. Right into Select. All the way through back. I think that's Bayless with it. Flips it off the boards to Mac again. He has it. Looking for Sullivan, and he finds him at the top of the circle. Sullivan shovels one high over the crossbar, off the boards, and out of the zone. Collecting just inside their blue line, trying to circle around, making that pass up again to Mac. Flips it to Sullivan, working his way in. Sullivan fighting with a power move towards the front of the net. Gets off the goalie's pads. Kicked aside and out of the zone here, Mountain Select. Now we're back to five minutes and 46 seconds. Is there a, there must be a number out there. I thought we were the final minute of play. Maybe that was seven minutes, seven minutes. Okay, I can't see. There's a little bar up on top of there. I thought it was one. It was actually seven minutes. We got five minutes and 34 seconds left to play here in a one nothing first period. As the tracker team comes in again, making that pass over to the corner. Hernandez working his way in deep, dumping that one back. Flipped across there. Frederick can't handle it. And now select up against the boards, taken away there. And there's going to be another penalty against your athlete tracker attack team. 5-12 left to go. First period action coming your way at South Suburban Sports Complex. I'm Harry Haviland. This is the first game of a long weekend for us. We're going to be bringing it to you all weekend long. Stay tuned in for the action. Get all your chores done and don't worry about having all that extra weekend activity. This is where you need to be watching some 2012 action at the Mile High Meltdown at the South Sub in Highlands Ranch.
Trying to figure out what's going on here. Ref's ready to drop it. The attack figure, we should probably play with the right amount of players on there. And then they've got one too many, so they go back. Math isn't their strong suit. It's not my strong suit either, so I'm not going to knock them for any bit of that. And to take this draw, shot comes in. And that one sneaks past Armstrong. Power play goal by the Mountain Select team here. Only five seconds into that five-on-four opportunity. They tie it up 1-1 with 5.07 left to go. We got some chatter here at the center line. These guys are ready to go figuring out who's going to play what position. Like I said, these players didn't even know each other before they showed up at the rink today. So giving them some credit here. Haviland puts that one across. Comes in, takes a shot, and they go up ahead. That is number 55 taking that one. Carson Beaumont putting the athlete tracker back up. Two to one, regaining that single goal lead. I know that's not going to be enough to settle this game with all the action we've been watching. They're going to look to build on this one still with five minutes left to go in the first. Back in. Mason Miller behind his own net. Oh, no, that's not Miller. That's Chad Sullivan. Miller's his D partner. Haviland has this one now. Haviland across the center line, trying to feed that around to Hernandez. He gets a shot off. Pucks loose, and it gets knocked in. The ref weighs it off. We're looking to see why that one's going to be waved off. A puck was loose. It gets knocked into the net, and they're going to take it outside the zone for some reason. How is that not a goal? Power moves towards the front. Some good stick work crashing the net. They put one behind the goalie. The ref says no, but they're going to try and do it right again. Uh, Mountain team dumps that one deep into the tracker end. They take a swipe at it behind the net. Mountain back out in the slot. They're wide open there trying to turn that one around. They get it to the blue line. It sneaks across there as the defender cannot hold it inside. They're trying to figure out what to do with it here as they're back inside their own blue line now. Haviland gets a tip on it. Back over to Hernandez as he races in now. Picked up first by the select team. Reverses on that. Hernandez trying to take that away. He gets in front of the player. Hernandez now centering pass off the player's skate. Just gets behind Haviland. He couldn't find the puck. Dumped in on the backhand by select. He turns back for a change. Four minutes and one second left to go here in the first period. 2-1 for the trackers. Off the boards, just past the ref. They dump that one in deep. Icing waved off, obviously. Fresh legs coming off the bench as the Mount Select gets bumped in against the boards, fighting two on one. The puck is loose. Select comes in and picks it up out of the corner, trying to work their way through, but taken away by the athlete tracker squad. It's Carson Beaumont coming across. He gets it taken away as he gets rubbed up against the boards. Select back the other way now. Action packed first period here. End to end hockey coming at us. Out of the zone. Looking for two on one here. Making the pass up. Coming in. Trying to dance around. Makes a great move there. Takes a shot. Good save there by the mountain goalie. Up and out of the zone. That one goes past Norris. Athlete tracker here coming the other way. One on two as they make changes. There's going to be a trip. There's no tripping call on that. All right. This is why I'm not a referee and I'm just a lowly commentator sitting in the corner of this beautiful arena that works its way up to a brisk 17 degree temperature here. We know it's a long way for you guys to see all the way down there. We got some great camera work coming on here. Zoomed running right in there. Mountain off the boards, pressured there by Tracker. Taken away there. Can't get it in. Sullivan was still fighting for it, but it's collected there by the boys in Maroon. Burgundy, Maroon. I'm not even colorblind. I just don't know my colors. I don't know what to say. Purple. A little bit of red tingy. Something along those lines. Maroon? We'll call it maroon. 
I don't know. I like Burgundy. It, it reminds me of Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy, another one of my all-time favorite commentators. It's who I uh, look up to, and I want to be just like him one day. If I ever get off this OTT Sports Network, I'm going to be bringing you the San Diego news. Mountain backhands that one clear of their own end. Working their way up. They flip that one across ice. Does a step around. Take it away there. Good defensive effort by your tracker squad. Going into the corner. Backed up to the point. Fired towards the net. It goes wide. Off the glass and out. All the way down the ice. The zebra's arm goes up. That's going to signal an icing. And now I can honestly say we've got one minute and five seconds left to go in this first. Because I know it's not seven after I made that first mistake. That might not be my first mistake or my only mistake of this weekend. Just stick with us. We'll get this stuff figured out. Just glad everybody's taking time on their Thursday evenings. Coming into Friday, everybody tuning in is taking the day off work. I appreciate that. Getting all kinds of texts. Knowing that you guys are going to be watching this game tomorrow. Games tomorrow, I should say. Kept in there by Mountain into the corner. Trying to work their way in behind the net. Circling back. Stripped away there by Hernandez. Flips that one up, coming out of the zone. Oh, trying to get that up to Haviland. It was intercepted, and then taken right back away. Good effort there. They're not giving up as Mountain's being pressured from behind. They get the back check kicked into the corner, ripped far around the boards. Haviland has that bounce over his stick, and they hold it in at the blue line. He tips it back farther into the corner. Mountain going after it. Picked up first by Hernandez. Back up to Haviland. Can't clear the zone. From the blue line, another shot. Deflected down and then out to Haviland. He's got some space here as he's coming in. Takes a weak shot in just inside the blue line. That's easily steered away by the select goalie. Time's going to run down here. Four seconds left. They're not going to get another shot off. Select comes out of the zone making the pass across. Buzzer sound signaling the end of the first period. We've got a 2-1 lead. Your athlete tracker team is in the lead heading into the first intermission. They circle up in front of their benches, getting some tips from their coaches is what's expected here as we walk our way into the second. I'm going to flip my mic up for a second, refresh my lungs, and I'll see you back in a minute. All right, back at it. Here we're about to set, about set to drop the puck to start this second period. Looks like the lines are set. Beaumont's going to be taking this draw to open up the period. Hi, Amy Burke here joining us. You want to get on the commentary or what? No. Hello to Claudia and Bill. You guys are tuning in. Great to see you. Great to... I, I can't see it, but great to have you hear me. Does that one step down in front of the net? They keep that in. Knuckle puck attempt from the blue line by the Mountain Select squad. And they keep this one inside the blue line. Another one comes in. Armstrong tipping that away. Hard into the corner. Flip back behind the net. Picked up quickly there by James Yokomizo. Sorry, I'm learning. James is an easier name to learn than Yokomizo. 
That one's going to come just outside the zone here as an offsides whistle down. Both teams making changes early in this second period. Only 24 seconds ticked off the clock. Still a 2-1 game with your athlete tracker squad in the lead. Off the boards, Sullivan pressuring in. Picked up there by Ekstrom. Comes in, shot comes on net. Sullivan couldn't find the rebound, but he collects it into the corner. Select squad coming across the lead, red line. Stripped away. Mac takes this one out of the zone. Mac's still fighting up against the boards. Has two players to contend with there. Doesn't give up on the play, but then all of a sudden it squirts out to the select team. Gets tangled up there. They wave off offside. They wave off penalties. A shot comes in. Big save there by Armstrong. Holding on tight. We're going to have a face off deep here in the tracker zone. And this one's right in front of the camera. This is the reason that we set up here, just so you guys can see this key face-off draw with 13.38 left to go in the second period. We got Hernandez and Haviland, two kids that I know, so I can call those names out without if effort. Out there along with Bayless as well, as he skates right in front of the camera, back into the defensive position. One cleanly. And then in front, another shot in. Goes under the pad. Can't hang on to that one. Armstrong goes back to the point. Haviland with the pressure that forces him to dump that one into the corner. After it in the corner, Norris puts that one out. Haviland now controlling, tipping that one up to Hernandez. Racing through center ice. Hernandez taking this one wide. Dances around the player. Takes a shot. Rips that one off the crossbar. I heard the clank from here. And, oh, they're not even going to stop to check for dents in the pipe. They're just going to keep playing going on here as Hernandez forcing his way in. Haviland tipping that one away back to Hernandez. And then the tracker squad is now on defense as the selects come across their own blue line. Another shot off a crossbar. Tipped up into the mesh, which is going to signal a faceoff again right here in front of you. Two crossbars in a row. 12.49 left to go. Harry Haviland on the mic with you. First game of the Mile High Meltdown. Beaumont out here puts that one over to oh, Yokomizo. Sorry, James, if I'm butchering your name again. Refs put their hands down as that doesn't go across the far red line. It's not going to be an icing. And Frederick's after it into the corner, flipping it around. Center and a wraparound attempt he is successful. Beaumont burying that one, making this a 3-1 game. The tracker take a two-goal lead. <coughs> and I do not have my commentating voice. <coughs> As I'm choking it down here, getting excited as this tracker team's looking really good here. Second period action here at the uh, South Suburban Sports Center. We're in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, and your tracker team's leading 3-1. to one. Beaumont looking for another one as he works his way deep into the corner, trying to backhand that one out. Intercepted. And they can't get it out of the zone. Two players pressured up against there, but it sneaks out to the Mountain Select team. Working their way in on the backhand. Flipped in and then steered aside by Armstrong. Picked up there by Yokum. <sighs> Yokum, he's so. <laughs> I hope that um, his parents don't find me in the parking lot and beat that name into me. I'll get it by Saturday, I promise. In front, Beaumont with a shot. Goalie scooping that one up. Coaches for your tracker team shuffling some lines around here trying to figure out their right matchups. Practice tonight we were supposed to have over at Family Sports. That got canceled when the schedule came out and we realized we got to actually be here at 4.30 this afternoon to hand out jerseys, do a little bit of dry land, get to know each other. Seems to be working out so far as they're up to get two goals. They get another shot off that's steered to the side by the Mountain Select goaltender. Centering pass comes all the way out of coming down the ice. Forced into their own zone. Armstrong taps up on it. And then Miller scoops it up the boards. Can't get it out, but then Ekstrom streaks through. 
Walking his way in, making the pass across. Oh, looking for the one T, just missing on that. But still controlling, out to the blue line. Kicked off a skate and picked up by Select. Now Select working their way through. Great defensive stick there by Sullivan. Putting that one back out to center, and he still has this on his tape. Working the rubber towards the front of net. Gets a shot off, and he finds the five hole underneath the goaltender. Sullivan putting that one home, and the goal lead continues to grow. Here's the athlete tracker attack. They are finding their game and working their way into a 4-1 lead with 10.51 left to go here in the second period. Timeout being called by Mountain Select. Looking to gather the troops. Apparently their coach sees that there's some players they got to control and some defensive efforts that need to be changed. Second period timeout here called. Tracker in there with Coach Burke, who's not talking to his team. He's asking the ref for some instructions. We know he's serious about all this. I just got to know Coach Burke here this week. He's uh, very serious about putting this team together, done an excellent job, has some lineups all figured out, even though he doesn't have a clue who these players are or how they play together. He is one serious individual. Serious enough that he only sent me the lineup five minutes before the game, so I can't even get a chance to study. I haven't had a chance to research any of these players. I don't know where they're from, where they play, but it works out so far here as they're playing well together with a 4-1 lead. Forcing the timeout, and now they're back to action here with a little over 10 minutes left to go in the second. And the Mountain Select team tries to take a shot off, and then... Hernandez tips it into the corner. Soko back, trying to break this out. And Lorche just puts that one through. Hernandez to the center. Haviland with it. Takes another shot. And Haviland buries another goal. 5-1 is what we're going to call the score right now. Hernandez with a beauty feed after Lorche takes it out of his own zone. They work it all the way down the ice. Haviland wide open in front and fine in the back of the net. Hernandez, Haviland, and Lorche still staying out there. We've got Bayless and is that Frederick on the back end? Yes, it is. Nope, it's not. Oh, I was almost right. Norris on the back end with with Bayless. Four for five is not bad halfway through the first game. Hernandez shoots one in. Haviland looking for the tip. It goes into the corner, and now he pressures it down. Still skating his way, fighting his backhands it towards the front there. Hernandez in the slot couldn't find the tape to the rubber and that means it comes out of the zone there as Mountain Select picks it up at center ice. Skating their way in. Picked apart there by the tracker squad. They put it back through center ice and inside their own zone now is a Select circling around. Passing that one out. It's up off the boards. And Norris up over to Larche feeding Hernandez. Looking for Haviland. He finally puts a stick on the ice. Gets it back over. And then off the bench. Working the way in. And Beaumont gets a shot off. Deflected into the corner. He's after that puck. Trying to feed it back out to the point. Her Haviland gets around him behind the net. Up off the boards and clear of the zone. Select going after it. Rubbed up against the boards there by Beaumont. And taken in. Picked quickly up there by Tracker, feeding it off the other side. All the way in deep. Now in on the forecheck there is Frederick. Swipe at it there by Burke. They're still controlling deep in the zone. Player goes down. Is already circling back. And that allows the Mountain Select team to get it out of the zone. They make the pass across. It's just in front of his tape. Picked back up by Tracker and out the other way. The offensive is all coming from here, from your Tracker team here right now. They're working still hard on the offensive pressure. Mountain looking to answer on that one. They come in, take the shot. 
Armstrong with a big save, holding tight. He collapses on that one. 8.16 left to go. Harry Haviland still with you. I haven't quit just yet. We're almost through the second period. I mean, about halfway through the second period. 8.16 left to go, and we're back in your living rooms, on your big screens. Get up. You are sitting on your yachts in the Caribbean. You're anchored just to get Wi-Fi to watch this game. We appreciate it. These kids appreciate it. That's what we're all here for. South Suburban Sports Complex in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. The Mile High Meltdown and your Athlete Tracker Squad. Looking to pass that one across was coming from Sullivan. He couldn't find Mac. Out to center and controlled there by D D Donato. D Donato. All right. D Donato. I got it. I got it figured. All right. That's one less pair that's going to beat me up in the parking lot for butchering their name. Pass out of the zone. Taken right back inside the blue line. Working their way through. Trying to get set up here as a tracker team coming out of their own end. Across the red line, dump and chase. The second part of that is the most key. The chase works out here, and they're fighting behind the net. Back out to the point and making a good pass across there with a bouncing rubber. Shot comes in. Knocked down in front, over to the corner, right back in front. The select kick it around the boards. They're going to give them a chance to walk this out of the zone. Backing up on that, D Donato. Off the glass and up. Can't clear the zone. Select ripping it behind the boards. Picked up there by Di Donato. Out. All the way up to Sullivan. He's coming in with some speed. Across the offensive line. Gets forced into the corner. Still working his way in. Haviland now on the attack. Comes out of the corner. Haviland. Another shot. Oh, that one almost makes its way through. Bounces off a couple of players. And now Lorche is in. Hernandez keeps that one in right at the blue line. Ice, or Offside is waved off. Haviland circles, spins, shoots. Controlled there by the Mountain Select goaltender. Hanging on. Still leading 5-1 to one here with 6.20 left to go. Your athlete tracker team is looking pretty good here in this first game of the tournament. Hernandez lining up for this faceoff. Leans down into it, wins it cleanly back to Haviland, puts it out to the point. Shot comes in, knocked down before it gets all the way through. Select working their way through neutral territory, coming in, gets a shot off from high up at the blue line. Armstrong handles that one easily. He's going to control the rebound, handing that one up to the referee and another face off here deep in the tracker zone. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of texts in here. I haven't even been looking at. I've been concentrating on actually figuring out what these uh, players are doing. And I messed up again. I completely closed the wrong thing. And here we are. We're back. Burke picks up this puck, backhands it in, looking for Beaumont into the corner. That one comes around the far side. Beaumont in behind the net, has Burke in front. He's looking for it. Beaumont centering past Burke with a tip, and that one just gets deflected wide. Out to center, looking one on two now. Two on two as the play develops across the blue line. Take another shot in. It goes off of Armstrong's stick. Picked up behind the net. Backhand on this one up. Intercepted, centering pass. Doesn't get all the way through. Burke trying to clear the zone. Can't get it through the blue line. Now Norris in there. Shot in. Armstrong gets down on that one. Norris back with it. Skating his way out. Big body coming through center ice here. Working his way through. Trying to power down the boards. Loses his stick and that one ends up on the blade of the Mountain Select team. They put that one up high. It's coming down. Icing's going to be signal and it's going to cross that red line. Making the whistle blow 200 feet the other direction they skate. 
And another face-off is going to come at you here in the Mountain Select Zone. 4.45 left to go. Second period action. Your tracker squad leading 5-1. to one. Again, I'm Harry Haviland. Happy to be asked to join you guys this weekend. We've got potentially seven games. This this could be a long school, long weekend for this squad, but I think they're upward. They've all been training all season. This is a spring hockey tournament. The best of the best from across North America are here in Highlands Ranch for this. Coming out of the zone, making the pass up. That's Mac with it. Making the drop pass. Sullivan with the shot, putting it up off the glass. Kept in, tipped towards center ice. Picked up there by select. They flip it clear. Don't quite have control of it, but then find a way to shovel it ahead. Working the way in. Great defensive effort there by the attack. Centering pass comes around the other side. And extra makes a pass up to Mac. He's working his way down the left wing. Puts that one back. Sullivan in front. Puck is still loose, bouncing around. Backhand over, controlled by Miller. He's going to come back to get this one. Miller off the boards. Hard to the far side. They can't clear the zone. In at the circle, some falling players and a loose puck being battled for in front. Coming out on the positive side of that. Up to Sullivan, your attack squad, forcing their way into the offensive zone one more time. Sullivan can't dangle through two players. Push back the other way. In front, Mack goes down as he was trying to get a shot off. Off the boards in front of the benches. They make some changes here. Gets dumped all the way down. Icing waved off by the spread arms of the Zebra. Sullivan around the far side. Haviland picks it up. He's got some time. He's looking up ahead. Feeding Hernandez at center ice. Hernandez looking to split the D. No, he tried to go around him. He gets the puck back after he lost it. Hernandez shoots, finding top shelf, putting it up over the sprawled goaltender. And we've got a 6-1 game with 2.43 left to go in the second period. Reconfiguring it, center ice, and the puck is dropped. Hernandez wins that one as he backhands it up to the blue line, but not in too deep. Select, give it right back, but it's taken away by the tracker. The tracker, the tracker team, your tracker, I don't know what to call them. Select, putting one in just wide of the net. Bounces off the back, finally settles down. Trying to clear that there is Bayless. Fighting for it is Hernandez. He puts it off the boards. Hernandez can't get it past the big defender that steps into the play. Speaking of big defenders, that one's handed back over to Norris as he controls this one hard up off the boards, trying to find Haviland. Picked up there by Select. Working their way in deep. Centering backhand. Bounces and then cleared. Haviland with the forecheck. Select with a pass up, and now they could be on a breakaway. Norris coming back on it. They get the shot. Armstrong couldn't handle it, but he got enough of the glove on there to knock that puck down. Select gets another shot off. It's picked away there, but they can't clear it out of the zone. Back in. Armstrong just lets that one go wide of his net. Back out to the point. Select with the opportunities here on to Armstrong. He's going to hang on to that one as Norris comes back, making sure that there's no rebound. 118. Yes, 118, not 718. I got to make sure that I'm not messing up here. I know that you faithful fans that pay so much for this subscription are not getting wrong information fed to you by some dude that just randomly gets a microphone and a roster and is supposed to tell you all about this game. I'm actually a big cricket fan. This is the first hockey game I've ever been to in my life. So if I'm not doing a good job, bear with me. We'll figure it out. Shot comes in. I heard some iron or some kind of a net hit there. It ends up wide. Backed into the point. Dumped in deep. Tracker trying to get set up. They end up 
getting that one across the blue line. Select, working in. Dances around a couple. Oh, what a big save there by Armstrong. Puck still loose in front. Diving across into the crease. Getting some help from his players there. Armstrong comes back, covering that up. And we're going to get another face off with 34 seconds left to go. Making the changes. Ten sets of fresh legs out here to finish off this second period. That's Sullivan circling back with a good move there. Puts it up off the boards. Given. No, giving it to Sullivan. Do we have we have two Sullivans. That's why I'm so confused. We got a Chad Sullivan, number six, and we got a Mike Sullivan, number 37. I'm an easily confused guy. They let the play keep going as the Mountain Select player was down. He gets up, and now they come out of their own end. Working way through, trying to split the D. That one's taken away there by Chad Sullivan. And Mike Sullivan going in there. Both wearing red helmets, both with two different numbers. That's why I'm so confused. Maybe they're brothers. I don't know this team. I don't know where everybody's from. There's one thing that I know for sure. We appreciate everybody tuning in. I know that I'm Harry Havlin. I know that I'm here for the weekend with you. Stick with us. We're going to have some fun. Your Athlete Tracker Squad leading 6-1 to one going into this second intermission. And we'll be back soon. All right, the whistle blows. The ref's got a happy hour to get to here. He wants to hurry this third period up. Players skate back from their benches. Like I said, there's a five-goal lead from your tracker squad. But that Mountain Select team, I don't think they're going to give up. They've got some great skaters. They've had a great, a lot of great opportunities here. Armstrong coming up big on a bunch of them. Getting a lot of help from his defense, too. They've been looking strong here for the first two frames. Third one now is underway as the puck is dropped at center ice. Flipped in there deep by Mount Select. And to pick it up, flipped around the net there over to Ekstrom, trying to find Sullivan. He gets knocked down. And then a bump comes back the other way. A little bit of physicality coming out here to start this third period. Extra back into Sullivan, skating around the net. Sullivan, drop pass to the point, trying to get that clapper off. It gets deflected off the toe of the select player, and they finally clear their own zone. Select coming through, a swipe of the stick. He goes through it. A shot and a big save by Armstrong, cleared aside by the defense. Another shot comes in. Armstrong's going to hang on to that one. Doesn't want to see another rebound come out. Keeping this a five-goal game, 14.02 left to go. That means 58 seconds. That's the best math I'm going to do all weekend for you, folks. Looks like Hernandez is down there 200 feet away from me. Wins that one, or won that one back with the Mountain Select. They get a shot. Up to Hernandez, flipping that one to Haviland. Haviland powers his way through, back to Hernandez, coming across the blue line, just offside. As Lorche was inside the play, and Hernandez did a little bit more dingle than he should have dangled. It's an offside that's going to bring it back outside the blue line. A 
One by Mountain. They come inside, get a weak shot off that goes in off the side of the net. Does bounce back out to Armstrong. He easily steers that aside to Haviland. Flip to Hernandez. Has Lorche on the far side. Hernandez is going to try and skate his way through this. Tips it into the corner. Goalie gets a blade on it. Hernandez now in a battle. He has Haviland back to him. Gets it to Haviland. Feeds it back out to the point. Shot comes in. And now one goes right through the screen goaltender. Good feed back to the point there by Haviland. Firing the shot in was... Uh, I'm trying to figure out the player. That was at number eight, I believe. Yoko Bizo from the point. Seven one game means run time here is a six goal lead in the third period. Taken away here by Beaumont. He works his way in. Still controlling this puck behind the net. Can't find a way to center it. Taken away. That's Connor Burke. Look into the front of the net. Beaumont's in there with him. Beaumont go. Oh, Connor Burke with the shot and the goal. Eight one lead now. Berkey flailing as he scores. Good effort here. The tracker team is not giving up. Still pressure in late into this third period. They're up eight to one. Got 12 minutes left to tick off this runtime clock. The ref is. I don't know if he's actually signaling to the players or he's doing the YMCA. Either way, I'm pretty impressed. He's got control of this game. Taken by Select. They come in, get a shot off. Sullivan flips it up off the boards. It gets clear of the zone. And now coming in, I believe that's Beaumont working his way through, gets taken down. Circling around, Frederick with the shot right into the glove of the Select. The select goaltender. That's what I meant to say. I'm running out of words here in an 8-1 game in a third period. It always makes it easier to call when it's a close game. I am definitely not a biased commentator when it comes to a big lead, but I am very proud of this tracker team for coming together here short notice, figuring out what they got to do. And they're in good shape here as Aiden Matt comes back on the back check with select taking a weak shot in and Armstrong kicking it off to the side. Pressured up against the boards there. Miller with him. Back over to Sullivan. Off the boards to Mack. Can't clear it because he was looking for the other Sullivan, who does a good job of taking away that shot. A trip comes up. They're not even going to call these anymore. <laughs> They're going to call an offside, though. They'll make it an offside play. 10.37 left, ticking off this runtime clock. 8-1 lead for your athlete tracker attack. Enjoying everybody here, looking at the live people tuning in. 8,246 people across the globe on this YouTube channel. We're going to bump those numbers. I want to see 30,000 people by the time this team gets into the Sunday. Sullivan works his way through the crease, puts that one in. Again, I, I'm not getting too excited here now. I'm a very sportsmanlike commentator. As I said at the beginning, if you don't like my commentary, just email at I don't care at gmail.com and I'll make sure that our associates get back to you. Mountain select across the blue line. They feed that one in deep. Tracker back into their own zone. That's Norris against it. Up to Haviland, who spins, trying to build up some speed and look for a power move in. Backhands it towards the center. Player was in front of Hernandez, breaks that play up before he could get to it. Falling down, Haviland keeping that in. Back out to Hernandez, just inside, making the pass across to Lorche. Tangled up at the top of the slot. And Mountain Select bangs it off the boards. They got some time here. They're going to bring it out of their own zone, being chased down by Hernandez. 
They get across the red line, dump it in deep. And Norris back there. Picking it up, walking his way through. Still controlling this puck, taking it wide down the left-hand side with the puck. Centering. Oh, and a just missed there on the one time by Lorche, but he picks it up behind the net. Lorche still fighting. Out to the point. Held in. Off the shin pad. Spun by Haviland as he gets taken out, but he leaves it there for Hernandez. Hernandez settling it back down, centering pass. Haviland in between. Drop there for Hernandez. Takes another shot. Lurche in, just missed off the side of the net. He has it. Shovel pass out to the point, held in at the blue line. Backhanded in high. Gloved down there by Select. Held in again by Hernandez. Shoots that one in. Lurche with it at the top of the circles. Backhand off the defender. Up off the boards and coming out of the zone. 7.54 left to go here in the third period. 8-1 lead for your tracker squad. Norris again, winding up behind his own net. Passes that one out. They're going to, oh, I don't know if they could have called that a too many men. They're just going to let that one go with Beaumont coming in. Drop pass and a shot off the goalie's glove and into the corner. Select, working their way out to center. Can't accept the pass, and it's flipped right back over to the tracker. Bayless trying to get it out of his zone. Can't quite do so. Select into the corner. Working our way around. Looking to get that out to the point. Tracker doing a good job by blocking the lanes. At, still controlled by Select. Gets taken down in behind the net. Off the boards. Looking for the point. Still having this one. Oh! An off-angle shot through a screen. Armstrong coming up, flashing the leather. Controlling that one down, hanging on. A face-off deep into the tracker zone. 6.41 left to go here, and a commanding 8-1 lead is still in favor of your athlete tracker squad. Some last-minute changes coming off the bench here. Hung in there, pushed off the puck by Haviland. Feeding this one out. Three on one. Working his way in. Taking the shot. Blocker saved by the goaltender. It was loose. Coming in. And some rough stuff is ensuing here as Frederick was looking for a rebound. Digging for the rebound. I always say play to the whistle. That's just the way I think, though, but... He's going to go to the box for that, and we're going to get a tracker penalty here. Five on four for Mountain Select here, 440, or 546 left to go. Still running on the run time. It's going to go all the way down to the far end. Two minutes on the clock for the penalty. It's five on four. Hockey action coming at you. South Suburban is still the place we're at. We haven't left just yet. Glad everybody's sticking with us. Centering pass comes through the slot. Looks like Haviland's back there on defense now. Taken away by Tracker. Working his way all the way in. And Mountain Select has that one. Now coming out three on two the other way. Coming back with Beaumont on the back check. Trying to dangle his way through as a select player. They tip it over to the corner. Beaumont has it. Flips that one into the select end, and they're going to be resetting as Burke comes in off the bench. Burke fighting against, and then Sullivan steps in off the blue line. Select through center. Across, making the pass on the left wing. They get a shot off. Oh, that's deflected down by Sullivan. Back in the Haviland behind the net. He gets that stripped off of his blade, and the select team gets a shot off. Burke trying to spin in the corner. Getting pressured there by a couple of players. He's getting a help out there by Diodonato. Haviland has it now. He has Sullivan up ahead of him. Can't feed it through. They keep it in at the blue line as Haviland gets stripped trying to work his way through. Diodonato on the defensive end. 
Back out to the point. 30 seconds left to go in this power play. Taken away by Sullivan. Trying to tip it ahead. The Mountain Select team gets to it first. They clear it out of the blue line. Sullivan still on top of it. Working the way around. There's going to be a penalty there. Oh, and another shot as he's down on the ice. Oh, but his brother, I think the other Sullivan comes in, has something to do with it. Now there's going to be offsetting penalties, I'm guessing. No? <laughs> we'll let the refs sort this one out. And both Sullivans are going to the box. So <laughs> I'm guessing that it's going to be a four on three advantage here, a five, a five on four for Mountain Select. As the retaliation penalty is going to get you every time. Three minutes left to go here. It's still running off the clock. They're calling some roughing. They're calling some punching. They're calling some, we don't need to see that kind of action here in an 8-1 game. But it's coming down into the select end, so that would mean that it's five on four for tracker. All right. Again, I am not. I I'm a cricket guy. This is the first time I've ever watched hockey. So five on four for tracker. Five five on five. It's five on five hockey. <laughs> Five on five hockey. Hernandez was at the draw. It's won by Mountain Select. They worked their way through in deep, and Armstrong kicks it off to the side off of the blade of his stick. Still in behind. Select trying to put it through. Comes across the blue line, racing down for it. It's going to be Select getting to it first, making that pass across just out of the reach of Yoko Bezel. It's into the tracker end. Hammered around the boards there by Bayless. Picked up and kicked across. Hernandez with it. He whips on the pass, but then it's hammered in deep. Picked up here with the pressure coming from Lorche. He gets another stick on that one to the far side. Yokomizo trying to keep this one in. Hernandez with him. Sneaks across over to the select player. Hernandez on the back check, breaking that play up at center ice. Stick taken, <laughs> stick taken out of the hands of the select player, and that's going to be a Hernandez slash as he heads to the box with 123 left to go. Can't knock the stick out of the player's hand. 8-1 is the lead for the tracker. We're winding down to the final minute of play in this game. We've lost a couple of years down to 4,012 or 4,209. We understand this is the kind of game that we want to start for the tracker. They're going to be off to a good start here. Looking to face some more teams as we dig into this tournament. Haviland can't get it past the boards. Glove down there by Armstrong as the select team gets a shot off on the power play. They put it back into the slot. Player loose in front. Working their way behind the net. 40 seconds left to go in this game. Centering out, another shot in. Gloved down by Armstrong. Hanging on to it. The players are pushing and shoving in front. Couple go down, 21 seconds. I don't even know if we're going to get another face off after this one. Refs are taking it over to the side. Players get sorted out. Time ticking down. Tracker sending their fifth player off. And it's one by Mountain Select in behind the tracker net. Trying to center this one. Can't get a shot off. Taken down there by Haviland. The buzzer sounds. Your athlete tracker squad coming out of their first game here with an 8-1 victory over Mountain Select. That just means that they've got a target on their back for the weekend now. They better keep playing strong. Better keep playing hard. I know that they will. I'm going to be here with you tomorrow morning. 9.30, I believe, is our first game. Somewhere around there. Just tune in. Make sure that you've got that YouTube channel just setting the alerts and reminding you that you've got a 
blend your margaritas and make your pancakes early in the morning tomorrow. We got two games coming at you live. Harry Havlin is happy to be here with you. OTT Sports Network bringing it to you all weekend long. Mile High Meltdown, Athlete Tracker. We will see you tomorrow morning.